What is up, Spin Fam? I'll never say that saying again and not crack myself up. Wait, I'm not cracking up, I guess, but... Anyway, apparently that saying is being said all around the Twin Cities metro area as a greeting at work. And uh, I love it. <laughs> it cracks me up. And if this is Tom's buddy, I want to say, go buy a spinner and you can be part of the spin fam. That's right. And then you can mean it when you say, what is up, spin fam? All right. Okay, let's see. So I went up to Minnesota. I was up there for two freaking weeks and I spread the word about spanners I gave away like five of them I had a couple delivered I had this one delivered and I had a copper stubby delivered up there the third one I've owned and I lost it because I was carrying it everywhere I went this got beat up and the stubby and Thankfully, I lost a stubby and not this, right? I can replace the stubby. Um, so I had a great time up there. I sp like I say, I spread the love. I gave away a brass mini tank. I gave away an ultra spinner's aluminum one to my aunts. I gave away an aluminum delta core to my uncle. I gave away a copper spinatic Y that I had stonewashed and then polished the flats on to my buddy Guy. Um... Was there another one I gave away? Oh, oh, this is good. Then I had this one, the brass alpha, the fat one. And my mom is spinning my Trinima thing. She's like, oh, this one's really cool. Can I have this one, Derek? And I was like, uh, mom, are you crazy? No. So I gave her this one, the ultra spinners. Uh, oh, alpha, this is the omega, the thinner one. The alpha is the thick one, half inch thick like this. And I said, no, you can't have my Trinima thing, but you can have my brass ultra spinners and it had really cool step blackened buttons that I had sanded in the middle myself so there's a lot of love in those buttons anyway so uh, this thing was dropped so many times by different people everybody loved it of course I had it with me <clears throat> I had all my all 50 of my spinners I brought with me and we had a big spin meet <coughs> and let me just say if you live somewhere in a, in a town or a city, I should say, with other people, other spin fam, as we like to call ourselves, right? I can highly recommend having a spin meet. You bring all your stuff, you go into a restaurant, you have a beer, coffee, whatever, and you bust out all your spinners, and all the employees will come and check all your craziness out, and you'll make good friends. You know, I was a little nervous about, who am I going to go meet? And one guy, he wants to be quiet about it. Uh, he's got a touchy job. And then the other guy, Brian Hedstrom, who has been around for a while. So cool. He, uh, like My collection was the middle of the road of the three. His collection was uh, amazing. Brian's, let's just say. I finally had some superconductor. He gifted me this. This is just a little piece of superconductor. But now I finally felt superconductor. And a brief review, I'll say it's much lighter than you think. Because you're replacing most of that copper with a niobium, nimbidium. I'm not exactly sure what they call those things, these little rods. <coughs> but you can see kind of what's going on now. I just love to have a little piece so I can show people. And we traded protons. Brian's really good at this uh, force patina. And then he clear coats are good. And I had a just a polished up proton. He's like, well, here, I want to give you this. And I'm like, well, let's trade you know, and uh, so anyway, and then, oh, the other thing I got at the spin meet, Brian also gave us each a cool spinner stand, look at that, for your desk at work or whatever, if you're one of those weird peoples who have a job, you put that there, boom, look at that, huh, let's see if we can really get it going, kind of loud for having spinning during our video, but anyway, I think that's pretty cool. So, the last bit of news I have, I know this hasn't been a review yet. The last bit of news is, so, if you know anything about ultra spinners, uh, from what I understand, their, their timing was a little bit off always on everything they were doing in the spinner game. But they made about 10 of this style, but thick. But this thick. Like I was telling you about the one I gave my mom. The brass ones they made a bunch of, right? They only made 10 in copper. And me and... 
pervert number one. We were looking for one. We were like, we were fighting, not fighting, but a friendly competition to see who could get one. And this was months ago, you know, eight months ago or whatever it was. And the other day, I just got, you know, I got some money. I had a little extra money. I said, well, let's put a hondo up and see if somebody will will uh, nibble on my $100 bill. And I got one in the mail. Oh, it's coming. And even though you can't buy one, no one will ever be able to buy one. I might do a review just because I can. I can't wait. This thing... Oh, forget about it. Anyway, so, I've landed my white whale. It's coming. So, we're five and a half minutes in. The retarded dog's, I mean, the stupid dog's going to wake up in a second and want to go out and get his treat. And he's just going to have to wait till we're done with the review. <coughs> Which, we will start talking about the Case RXL in copper. This is the other one I had delivered up in Minnesota. It is from Fidget HQ. Uh, I guess it's FidgetHQ.com. Over in Rhode Island, <laughs> if you watch Live PD, they, uh, they're like in the next town, they're in Warwick, Rhode Island, and I think Raja and Lisa are in East Warwick, Rhode Island, or vice versa. But anyway, so I'm sure they're right next to each other, so watch Live PD, and maybe we'll see Raja and Lisa get pulled over. How exciting would that be? <laughs> that would be very exciting, actually. Anyway, so, I've had this, this finish been out for quite a while, they, uh, had another run done, which is awesome. This is the KSR XL. Um, oh, one last thing, off topic, real quick. I love Aaron Carroll, and I think he watches these videos. But my name, like, there's no little dots over the J or anything, so it's just Jorgensen. It's not Jorgensen. I'm not. You know, I'm not from Norway, you know. Even though I'm Norwegian, I don't say Jorgensen. I say Jorgensen. So. Like Jones, Johnson, Jorgensen. It's a, a hard J, I guess we would say. Anyway, I do like it when Aaron says Jorgensen. Aaron has issues with names. Like, he thinks G-E-O-F-F -F is pronounced Geoff. And he's always a butcher, butcher of names. But <laughs> anyway, it's funny. I love Aaron. Got to pick on him a little bit. He's pretty good at everything else he does, right? Anyway, back to the case RXL. Let's bust out my funky scale here. Let's see. Uh, you're going to have to trust me as usual, it looks like. Well, maybe not. Let's see. Oh, look at that. I put new batteries in, and now you can see the numbers better. Funny how that works. So you're looking at about 79 grams of beauty. Pretty nice. Uh, a nice weight for a bar. This is a really good bar. Uh, let's compare it to a couple things real quick. Let's compare it to the Biton, which is like a stubby, very similar in size. Uh, so this is a, the Case RXL is a bigger, it's a longer bar. Let's go to the atrium, regular standard size atrium. So as you can see the thickness, it's a, it's got two different thicknesses. You got, you know, right here. And then a big chamfer, and then in the, the flat is the second level of thickness. It doesn't go, doesn't go up or it doesn't go down. You know what I'm saying? It's just a flat here, which is pretty nice. Uh, these chamfers are sweet. Uh, to me, the key that makes this spinner really good is this spot, the hip right here. And it's just a great, it's a, like watch. Look at that. You can just really grip it and rip it. Not grip and rip it. Give it to your flick whatever you call that front flick see what i'm doing there one thing about showing non-spin fam spinners is when they see a flick they think it's so cool They're like how do you do that and i'd show them and they're still like how do you do that <laughs> it's great anyway um so 79 grams it comes with these are case our buttons comes with their cool little shim deal that they, they screw on and it lets it fit on retention style spinners or press fit spinners. This is a press fit, if we look under the hood here. I've had this in tungsten like a year ago, and it was just a little heavy for me. And then I became a copper fan and sold it and bought like three copper spinners. Um, anyway, I, I think the copper is the better, the better feel for this. Of course, I think that about every spinner. So now I, I took those shims off. And now we got the low profile, right? Can we see how low that is? So it's, it's a it's a good feel. I personally like 
a little higher up or even with some different buttons kind of like uh i like these buttons on it right here these are uh the uni fit from spinetic i guess just because it, it doesn't the dish doesn't go down quite as far i guess is why i like them but these buttons are i'm not complaining about these buttons at all these are great and if you don't know about the xl version of these buttons here they are uh great button i'll digress um, like I say, this is kind of a, it's an older design, it's a classic, it's still available, and, ah, uh, jeez, I should have looked online, it's probably, they probably don't have any brand new to sell right now, they probably sold them a lot, let me put these shims back on, but they are available on the market from time to time, but, uh, uh no complaints, it's a great spitter, there's no hot spots at all. Like zero hot spots as they should be nowadays. The press fit is nice. I'm not sure if the originals were press fit, like the the standard metals. I know the tungsten was a press fit. There now, see how I put those back on. Now we're gonna see how tall it makes it. Yeah, there we go. And Bob's your uncle. So yeah, that's um, that's her case RXL. I, I don't know. This is a brush finish. I'm starting to lean away from polish just because, like I just showed you this one. Look how it's so beautiful at first, but then you play with it for ten seconds and you got micro scratches up the butt, and just not cool. I do love the feel of polish. I love the look of polish at first. So I don't know if I'm gonna start a. Uh, I know Josh has bead blasting at Spinetic. I wanna. Or not, but a media blast. He's using glass, I think. Uh, I would like to check that out. This is still my number one. Such a sick spinner. If you ever get a chance to buy one, you won't. But if you do, go buy one. I seen I saw a guy uh, offering three hundred dollars to buy one. I don't know if he's really trying to pay three hundred, but that's what the ad said. Can you imagine? So, this is kind of a shorter video. I didn't even talk about the case R that much. What can I tell you? That's the way my reviews are. A little news, a little about me, a little about my collection. Uh, also, another thing about Fidget HQ, I have coming the Zen Duo in copper and the Zen Tri Evo, I think is what we call it, or whatever it is, but the, the bigger ones in copper, both of them. They should be here by the end of June, supposedly, which will be nice. Always, you know, support... I always like the uh, the way Raj and Lisa do it with all their pre-orders, and then they they try to have stuff on on hand. I guess like uh, sellers having stock all the time. That's not really going to happen anymore. It seems like everything is pre-orders or drops, and then everything's gone, right? Which is fine. That's just the way it is. Now, hated that at first. It'd be nice if everybody could just have you know make a thousand of whatever spinner and keep them on hand all the time, but that's not the way the world works, I guess, right? Look how well balanced that is. That's just me shaking. If anything, it's six in the morning here. Hey, the dog didn't wake up. What do you know? Got a HC two Z in there. Oh, one more shout out. Heck is closing down business for uh, a few months, he says, till the end of the year, maybe, or something. That's terrible. But um, he's got stuff going on in life that he's got to take care of. Real world takes over. Over spinners. Uh, but he's doing a... The big point is, love the heck. The second point is, is he's doing a bulk pre-order. So if you want to buy 25 or more of any of your favorite spinners from FC Essentials, you got till tomorrow at midnight, Friday at midnight. Uh, it's fzessentials.com, and he's getting great prices. So if you need some HC4s or 3Zs or 2s or whatever, go get on it because you're not going to be able to get them for a while. And I will close with that. I love you guys. I had a great time up in Minnesota. Uh, Tommy, if you're watching, enjoy your Kepler XL. I'm so sad I didn't get to see it when I was up there, but I had such a good time up there. Um... Glad I got to give away some spinners. Spread the love. Let's get some new spin fam going, right? Ooh. Okay, guys. I'm going to be done with you here. And uh, just got to say, au quoi, Tanzanois. I want to say, 
Um, let's keep the vids coming, everybody. I know I planned on doing this while I was up in Minnesota, and then vacation happened, and it was just too much. And I lost my stubby. That was depressing. Uh, anyway, so peace out.